she's a universal symbol of freedom and democracy, a gift of friendship from France to the U.S. And in her 125th year, Lady Liberty is undergoing a $27 million renovation, bringing the 19th century icon into the 21st century. A number of critical facility updates are planned, including a new emergency rescue elevator. Austin-based Tower Elevators was brought on board for the job, and they're relying on the power of Siemens TIA portal to make it possible. Tower Elevator Systems chose to standardize on the Siemens platform since the beginning because of their global force and their ability to support us, their name recognition and their high quality products and their focus on safety. They brought the safety technology PLCs that we were looking for to bring our product to the next level. Included in the package are the Siemens Safety CPU, various digital inputs and outputs, as well as the Siemens HMI Comfort Panel, all of which are designed and commissioned by the TIA portal. Tower Elevators also utilizes Profibus communication protocols and Profinet industrial ethernet. The benefits of the safety controllers are uh, redundant safeties. They're inherently redundant. Uh, the CPU is always looking at, say, the e-stops, for example, and making sure there's no wire breaks or any short or if they're on or off. So it helps us keep our elevator safer for personnel to travel in. The touch panels, you know, we wanted something a little bit more upscale, so we went with a full color version and the new TP700 seemed to fit that bill. It has a lot of bells and whistles. Since there is the HMIs and everything's in one, it gives you one screen, one good layout, and you could link and connect all the different devices via either Profinet or Profibus or whatever communication protocol you're using easily on one screen. I think the TIA portal makes the entire transition and the programming development task more integrated into one complete project with all the safety modules and the safety integration. So it allows the developers a really a big picture look at the complete safety system. Programming a project like the Statue of Liberty could be complex and time consuming, but TIA Portal made it easy. The experience of TIA Portal is fairly straightforward. There's lots of editors and steps that'll walk you through kind of visually hey, you know, press here, drag this, do this. So you don't have to be like a super programmer, if you will, to use TIA Portal, it's fairly intuitive. Having WinCC as one in TIA Portal is a huge plus for me, and the cross-references for any tags or anything like that is very helpful in debugging process. You don't have to do cross-references in one program and then manually look in another or vice versa. It's all right there in front of you in another window that pops up. We took old code that was known good in previous elevators and adapted it to TIA Portal by the migration process and that probably saved a good three to four weeks worth of time. And those savings have helped Tower Elevator cut costs and be more competitive. The engineering phase you'd probably save 30 to 40 percent of hard code and the way TIA Portal is set up now on the debugging phase with the cross references as I've mentioned, you know, that would probably be at least 20 percent savings in time there. When you have a high profile build like we do here, time is a huge factor. So we're here all hours of the day and sometimes night. It's good to know that I can pick up the phone at any point and call Siemens Technical Support and they would be there to help us. The partnership with Siemens has helped Tower Elevators perform with confidence and the pride to know their work will have a lasting impact. 50 years from now I can say, hey, I've designed an elevator to go inside a monument, if you will. So my kids' kids could see it and they can say, hey, Grandpa built that.